Hi guys, this is Matt from Optimus Futures. This is the second video describing the functionalities of the multi-charts dome. Um, in the first video, we went over the place order functionalities, which are here. And those are for the initial order placements. Once those orders are placed, we will use exit strategies. Now, in the exit strategy, there are six functionalities. I'm going to go over five of them, and I'm going to make the third video about the sixth one over here because this is a master strategy which requires further explanation or just a lengthier explanation. So let's go over the first one. Just as a reminder, as you hover over this ones, uh, over each functionality, you will have basically a um, description of what it does. And then you can right click and you can edit and um, do what you need to do. So the first one is a strategy order a bracket order, which means once you're in the market, you will basically place a stop loss and a stop target. So obviously we're not in the market, but we'll prepare it for the time that we're in. So the profit target, you can specify prices or you can specify um, specific tick levels. I'm going to uh, specify it with ticks. And as you see, anything for profit target is in green and the stop loss is in red, just in case. So again, this is for specific prices and this is for um, tick values. So in, in this one, I believe the default is going to be 10 and 10 and this specific one will do 20 and 10. Okay, and you have more parameters over here. And basically you can time and force, you can choose the, the duration of the order and then you can choose whether you want it as a stop market and as a, or as a stop limit. And the last functionality asks you if you want to attach those orders once you're in the market. Well, first one, let's, before we do this, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. You can do it like this. Okay. And you can save this. Okay. And once you do that, you will see a check mark right over here, knowing that this one is actually working. So if I was to place a limit order, for example, let's let me place one here, which is a buy order. And it's going to ask me, do I want to buy this on the limit? And I'm going to say yes. Order submitted. Okay. Once this order gets filled, this strategy will get activated. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And you can do that. Basically, you can have a number of strategies here. Each time it allows you to have uh, flexibility as a trader. So you can atti attach stop losses and profit targets depending on the volatility of uh, the market. So this dome allows you, um, um, as I mentioned, to be flexible with the market conditions. Um, let me show you how to cancel that. So obviously to cancel this order, just have to order canceled place here. And if I want to remove the exit strategy, all I have to do is simply click here and it's removed. Okay. Let's go to the next one. This is a break even strategy. So as it says, when you're in a position and the market is moving with you, the strategy can place a stop limit or a stop market order at a break even level. Let's see exactly what it does. Okay, so let's edit this one. Okay, so it's asking you here if you would like to activate at a certain profit level or if you want to activate it at a certain transaction cost. My suggestion is not to use the transaction cost because um, the commissions sometimes potentially could be much less than the tick value. So this would mean you're placing an order which is very close to the market. So let's assume just to be realistic, let's say on the E-mini S&P, you want to activate it 15 ticks. Once it reaches 15 ticks, you would like to go to your entry level. Okay. And again, since this is a stop loss order, you can also specify whether this is a stop market or 
a stop limit and the duration of the market. And again, you can save this one. You can save this template. Okay, and and once you um, enter the market, you can click here. This is also another way to activate it. If you right click, it says auto attach or detach it. Okay, so this is a break even strategy. Let's go to the third one. Third one is trailing stop strategy. The stop order is adjusted to the price move in a favorable direction. The stop order trails behind the price and comes into effect if the price goes against you. You can place trailing stop limit or trailing stop market orders. Okay, let's see what exactly what it does. Okay, so now you have a number of levels here. Let me explain. This is from multiple, uh, those of you who trade multiple um, contracts. But let's say for the first one, level one, amount of profit is a 10 ticks and the stop loss is a 10 ticks. Okay, or you can do this one if the market it would make more sense, of course, if the market is higher to 15 ticks, your stop loss would be 10. Or you can say if the market moves to 20 ticks, then you would like to move it, let's say, to 12. Okay. And here you can say if the market goes to... Twenty five ticks. You would like your stop loss to be at fifteen. At thirty ticks, you want your stop loss to be at I'm just randomly choosing numbers, of course you can adjust them as as your uh profit target dictates and here you have more parameters again since these are stop orders since this amount of profit these stop losses get activated only once the amount of profit is there now let me be very specific this is based on market quotes it does not mean that you will get exactly this profit rather the market indicates according to the market quote that that's what it is okay and you can save those ones. Okay, let's go to the fourth one. This is a stop loss strategy, very simple. And you can, obviously, this is just a regular stop loss order. Okay, so amount of stop, you can activate it um, again. Once you're in the market, if you want on every single one of your orders to have 10 ticks, you just leave it here. Clearly, since it's a stop loss order, you'll have all those parameters again. And again, you can, although this is a simple order, you can change it all the time. And based on market conditions and volatility, um, some uh, customers of ours use uh, concepts such as ATR and uh, average true range and you can basically based again on market volatility uh, do this one I'm gonna save this one and again just as a reminder this is how you activate it and this one is auto attach exit strategy which obviously will be a profit taken one so this is amount of profit taken once um, once you're in the market okay and um, you can now one thing we can do we can activate this one and we can activate this one so both of them are active okay thank you and on the third video I'm going to go over um, this strategy um, that's it guys um, let me just, uh, as we always do, bring you to our main site.
to optimistfutures.com if you want to call us by all means just go to our menu uh, go to contact us you can see all the services that we offer right over here you can leave us a note or you can call us directly with all the numbers here we'd love to hear from you thank you and i'll see you on the next video